She personifies the American dream. Born and raised in Vietnam, she fled her native war-torn country to pursue something far greater than she could have ever imagined. Fashion designer Chan Lu joins us now to talk about her amazing journey from immigrant to becoming one of the most sought after designers in the fashion world. So how did you do it? How did you come here? You enroll in Boston University and you suddenly need to learn our language here and begin your studies. I had really had no choice. So I took a crash course for three months uh, during summer, I came in May 72. I had to start school in September. So I took a crash course for three months and I had to start school in September. Tell everybody how you did it, how you came here, you got out of school, and you started out working in a retail shop, didn't you? When the war ended, like, I had no fun overnight, so I had to start working, so, yeah. but I'm very clear what I want to do, so I start right away into fashion, so all my life, in my career, I work in fashion, so I start out in retail. Yeah, you started out selling other people's designs, and then you decided, you know what, I'm going to sell my own, correct? I want a bigger playground for my artistic challenges. I really need that. A bigger palette, which you have. And it really got going by a specific celebrity who wore a seashell necklace by the name of Jennifer Aniston, correct? What yes. happened when she was photographed wearing one of your necklaces? So I came up with this uh, hand-painted seashell necklace uh, on leather cord. Um, of course, Jennifer Aniston was wearing it at the fashion show in Milan during Armani fashion show. It was featured everywhere and on every front page in any magazine, <laughs> and like an explosive. And uh, so InStyle magazine called me up and said, I want to feature this, you know. So they, they titled it, see, like, Jennifer Aniston have Chen Lu's seashell necklaces. Where could I get mine? And it's like overnight, the phone ring off the hook. So much so that you had to get more help to actually help do the hand-painted seashells, didn't you? I, you know, how passionate about what I do. So I traveled to India and went out to Jaipur and find people to paint because I could do the prototype, but like the demand is so big. So we went out to Jaipur and, you know, I recruit all these Kashmiri painters uh, and form like a little village and all these Kashmiri uh, artists um, are like refugees from the, um, the political problem they have between Pakistan and, and, uh, and Kashmir. So they are in Jaipur looking for work. So they do all the hand painting for me. They couldn't paint enough. And we employ about 360 art painters. And uh, we feed a lot of poor people. We make a lot of life better. You make life better and this is this is kind of the line that's really explosive right now are these wrapped bracelets. Yes. They're all hand done uh -huh. and what you've done for Asian, the Asian folks overseas is you're taking them out of the sweatshops, aren't you? I recruit a lot of um, immigrants in my company and give them a better working environment, health benefit. You're giving you know, back. You know, plan. I, and teach them that to understand how living in America is, is a privilege. It's a privilege to pay taxes, for example, mm -hmm. in, instead of the other way around, you know, and working hard will pay off one day because I'm a living proof of it. <laughs> Absolutely a living proof. These are the wrap bracelets that I'm wearing, that you're wearing, and that a couple of your models are wearing. Mm -hmm. You also, though, are doing scarves as well. And we should we note again, everything is hand done, isn't it? Everything is hand loom, and this is 70% uh, cashmere, 30% silk, and it's uh, right now like the hardest things in my collection right now in terms of scarf beside the wrap bracelet. Right. And the colors, people come to me for colors. Yeah, your colors are obviously very outstanding. We've got skinny scarves that have also really taken on a life of their own. They're not just scarves, they're accessories, aren't they? Scarf, Saks Fifth Avenue is the biggest um, account like yeah, they, they I got into travel with her because she sells so much of it I couldn't ship fast enough. Yeah, Saks Fifth actually Avenue sells out yes, of these. Uh, and actually, that scar that you're holding is in Twilight right now, the vampire movie. Oh, it's in the movie Twilight. It is. How interesting. Same as a wrap bracelet. That's great. Let's bring out Brie and Renee, mm -hmm. two of your models today, because you're known for your jewelry and accessories, but you are now in a ready to wear collection as well. Describe to us Brie here and Renee and what they're wearing. Everything we do is hand done, you know. This is the skinny scarf that I'm talking about. It's, it's worn like scarf jewel, you know. And this is a cashmere scarf. And, and we have two of them together. The wrap bracelet right here, 
you know, Henry Bendel have a big collection of that, Blow It Out, Scoop, Intermix, Ron Herman in LA. Um, and the idea is to pair, use things together. You can use them alone or you can layer them, which is what the girls here are showing off quite nicely. It's actually, yes, and it's very universal. It's worn by millions. I mean, like, it's very iconic right now because, you know, men wear, women wear, everybody's wear, any way you like. We, we are known for layering because I believe layering is, you know, you bring out your own personality, how you dress, how you accessorize yourself. Where does your Pick inspiration you for all of this come from? Where do you get your inspiration to design all of this? I'm very much into uh, the complexity of a different culture, so most of the time my inspiration comes from the street people. Like I travel in India, I see people on the street, I see this man on the street wearing this you know, beautiful, wrap, beautiful bracelet. I said, could I, where could I get one? He said, you have to go to the temple, pray, then you could get one for free. I said, okay, I go home, I create something that I have in mind. So I use this uh, leather cord and uh, handmade uh, sterling silver bead, and I make into this wrap bracelet. It's now like so iconic that sometimes I was introduced to some people, they said, this is Chan Lu, they said, oh, the wrap bracelet. Yes, you're becoming known for Become certain Become known like Chan Lu, our bracelet. <laughs> I think that's a good thing to be known for. Yes. Chan Lu, thank you so much. Brian Renee, thank you so much for being here. If you'd like to peruse her wares a bit more, they're in high-end specialty stores and department stores all across the country. You can also find a bevy of her wonderful things on her website, which is chanlu.com. Thanks for watching Good Morning America Now.